Hello, salutations, greetings. Thank you for tuning in again to Chess Club, Chess 101 with Sam at the Washington Park Library out of South Providence. So, you know, the library has been closed the past couple of weeks, uh, holidays, but yeah, we're back and we're going to pick up where we left off. So, we learned about the points, whether the points move forward one space, one space, sorry. And can skip a space on their first move. The points can also capture diagonal from the square that they are on. We learn the bishop start the game off with two. According to the board, bishop one bishop is on f8, and one bishop is on c8. Opposite is on f1 and c1. The bishops move diagonal according to the color that they start on. So according to this board, this is red and white. As long as I remain on red, I can move it up to eight spaces. I must have a clear path in order for me to move, though. Okay? If I have a piece in my way, I am blocked, and, prevent, and it prevents me from moving diagonal in that direction. I must have a clear path in order to move. Same goes with Bishop White. As a white. Alright. We learn the rook. The rook moves in a straight line. Forward. Backwards and also side to side. They can move up to eight spaces and it also needs a clear path in order for it to move. <coughs> the next piece we learned was the knight. The knight, one of the most unique pieces on the board, is the only piece on the board that can jump over pieces. All right? As long as you move it in the L formation. The L formation is a total of one, two, three, four, four squares, okay? So as long as you move it, um, in the L formation of the four squares, you can move it anywhere on the board, and it can jump over pieces. The how the knight captures is it captures whatever is at the end of the L. For example, let's say in a situation like this. You see good? The knight would simply one, two, three, and here is the end of the L, and it would capture. Alrighty, so the new piece that we're going to learn is this beautiful piece right here called the Queen. The Queen is the most powerful offensive piece on the board, and here's why. The Queen moves a combination of the Rook and the Bishop. So the Queen moves forward, backwards, side to side, um, it can also move diagonal on any color that it is, it is on, okay? Unlike the bishops that have to uh, move diagonal according to the color that they start on, the queen can move diagonal on any color that is positioned on, okay? Any color that you position it on. All right. The queen cannot jump over pieces, all right? Only put piece on the board that can is the knight. So next, we're going to learn the most important piece on the board, the king. Okay, so the queen goes on d8 in, on one side and d1 on the opposite side. The king goes on e8 and e1 on the opposite side, all right? The king moves in every direction, forward, backwards, for, sorry, forward, backwards, side to side, one space. So as long as you move it one space, it can move forward, backwards, side to side, and even diagonal. Okay. The reason why the king is the most important piece in the board is because the game revolves around the king. All right. Every piece on the board can be captured. Every piece: the queen, the pawns, bishop, knight, rook. Every piece except for the king. And people get it mis misconstrued. They believe that in order for you to win the chess is by capturing all of your opponent's pieces. That definitely helps you. Capturing all of your opponent's pieces definitely helps you win, but it's not how you win. In order for you to win, you must initiate something called checkmate. 
So in order for you to understand check me, I must first explain check. So check is when the king is being attacked. Any piece on the board you would just take. You wouldn't give your opponent a hands up. But when the king is being attacked, you call out check. Okay? When you are in check, there's three things that you can do. You can attack, block, or move. All right? So while you're being attacked, the queen, let's say I move my queen from D1 to H5. The white queen. I'm now attacking the black king on eight, eight E, E8. All right? Because we know the queen can move forward, backward, side to side, and diagonally. The queen is attacking the king diagonally. This is an example of check. So when you're in check, there's three things you can do. Attack, block, or move. Let me show you an example of attack. Let's say... This is it. Queen's attacking, check. Here's an example of attack to get out of check. You simply take the piece that is putting you in check. All right. Here's another example. The block, the B. You simply move a piece to block the piece from putting you in check. All right. And here's the last one, move. All right, so that's there. Currently you're in check by the queen. You can also move. I go, I put it in the order A, B, M because I always look to first attack, then secondly move, and then last if I need to, I'm sorry, first attack, secondly block, and then third if I need to move. Alright? So A, B, M is, 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 is the acronym. Attack, block, move. If you find yourself in a position where you are being attacked. The king is being attacked. It is in check. And you cannot attack, block, or move. That is checkmate. And that is game over. Let me give you an example of that. You guys got a good look. Let me try to change the angle. Board. All right. So the queen is currently the white queen. It's attacking the black king. You know the queen can move forward, backwards, side to side, up to eight spaces, and diagonally. So currently the queen is here, position here, directly next to the king, diagonal from it. It's attacking. Now remember the rules. When you are being attacked, you can attack, block, or move. Let's say, okay, I attack with my king to take the queen. I will still be in check because the bishop is here supporting the queen diagonally. I wouldn't be able to make that move. So this would be an example of checkmate. I'm being attacked currently in check. I cannot attack, block, or move. Game over. Let me show you another example. Let's say I like this. Let's say the white king is here. Here.
So, here's another example. Let me press my turn. Okay. So, white king is here on h4. Currently, is being attacked by this black bish, uh, black rook, which is on b4. All right, it's putting it in check. I remember the ABM rule. Attack, block, or move. I cannot, there's no piece on the board currently that can attack this rook. The pawn can only capture diagonal from this piece that is on, so you know we can't capture it. None of these pieces here are in the, have the range to capture this um, rook at the moment. So it's putting your king in check. You can't attack. That cancels out the A. And let's say block B. You can move there to block. That would then get taken. Still in check. So then you think, okay, how about move? If you move back, you will be checked by the queen. If you move forward, you mean checked by this other rook. If you move diagonal uh, side to side, you'll still be in check. So no matter where you go, you can't attack, block, or move. And no matter where you go, you're in check. This is an example of checkmate, game over. And this is an example of how you win in chess. All right. So I think that about wraps it up for the day. All right. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to week three of virtual chess, chess club. Chess 101 with the Washington Park Library with Sam. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.